Hi guys, Jeremy with thecustomgeek.com here, and this is an Arduino Uno Q. Now, what is this? Let's go rewind my history back a little bit, and I started out with a Dumela Nove, which I have a couple here, but I can't find. Then went to the Uno, and that was pretty cool, and then came the Uno R3, and this is also pretty cool, and then this is the workhorse in itself. And then Leonardo, and this was cool because it introduced USB stuff, and you can do cool things with it. And then we had the Mega. And the Mega had lots of I.O. And so I had I.O. I had like four UARTs and all this crazy stuff on it. Uh, and it was good, too. And then came the Duo. And the Duo was pretty cool because this ran at like 84 megahertz. And it was a little bit faster and lots of I.O. and UARTs and everything like that. However, to get on the Internet, all this stuff wasn't going to help you unless you had one of these and you had an Ethernet shield. And so you had an Ethernet shield, and that was pretty cool. And I cut you Internet and did some things. But then... I started messing with these Raspberry Pis. And so the Raspberry Pi is pretty cool because this is a really cheap single board computer. No Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, does have HDMI and video if you have a TV from 1983. But then came the Pi Zero and this had some wireless stuff on it and it was pretty cool and uh, it was nice. And then came the 3B Plus, which we all know and love. And then fours, and I don't have one of those here. And then five, I have a few of these and these are pretty cool too. But this right here changes things. And so this is an incredible, incredible thing where I can plug this in and this thing will boot up because the big boy chip is running an operating system on the 16 gig of built-in storage. And I can go to my computer and I can program it. I can program it to do these things, uh, the Arduino way with IOs, and I can also do AI with this. And that is incredibly accessible from the app lab. Lots of cool things in there. Um, just incredible. These ports are for the future and we'll figure out what those are for next. Obviously something cool, but we don't have access to those things yet. So the really cool thing about this is that you can plug one of these with USB ports for keyboard mouse. There's your HDMI, you power in and you plug the board in here. And this is now a standalone computer. And so I will have a screenshot here bink, of the desktop and then this is this running the desktop. It's no other thing than that. And you can program this using the software on this to be run by this. And so that's pretty cool. It's like an inception microcontroller. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you get one of these. I'll have some cool projects in the very near future. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.